start the video by saying that these contacts I am wearing for my very special spy disguise are available on these lens. I am wearing the brown contacts. My eyes are naturally blue, which you would never guess based on these contacts. They are beautiful. of time, of course, make sure you keep them very clean, but Miss Lens is a very nice contact company with tons of different selections for anime eyes and just day-to-day -day contact wear. I would wear these out, but of course, they are part of my special spy disguise, so I wear them for you instead. Miss Lens sells contacts in all different colors. They have sent me quite a few pairs. The first one is this lovely green color. It looks like it will go over a natural eye very smoothly, and it can work for anime characters or just daily wear. This next one is like a purpley pink color, and it has that shiny little anime look to it to pop just that bit extra and then I also have these amazing yellow and black stylized costume lenses they're called nebulous yellow and I am absolutely obsessed with them and the final color which I already opened and tried out because I was so excited about it is this cool blue tie-dye color which just dazzles me absolutely and I do plan to be wearing all of these contacts in future videos. Check the link in the description for my uh, discount code that gets you 20% off of your order of Miss Lens contacts. Thank you Miss Lens again for sponsoring this video. This conversation will no doubt be why when it is discovered what I have said to you. Which is why I plan to write down the important bits. 
maybe one day you will find it and it will guide you back to me or it could lead you anywhere not necessarily down my path but it will of knowing if you are lying to me so I want to make sure that is not the case you understand of course of course you do yes alright then and your name I have the name on file for you but I'd like you to say what your name is yes of course that is your name what? you have no reason to doubt that besides the uh, mysterious foreign stranger showing up in the middle of the night at your place of residence but who knows it could be for any reason doesn't mean you aren't who you think you are not uh, completely. Okay. So now that we've got the essentials, I'm not going to ask you for anything too sensitive, but I would like to know um, why have you begun investigating your past? You are convinced that there are things you can't remember. I am here to tell you that you are right But I am not at liberty to divulge too much information in case the memory wipe I supply you with Works a little bit uh, Well, not well enough but I would also like to run some diagnostic tests if you don't mind on um, Your face no, it is a perfectly lovely face. Yeah, it is just one that I want to be sure has been uh, taken care of. You have no reason to believe that you have been given a new face. But uh, just in case that is what happened and why I remember you so differently. your vision so what is the practical use of hair like this well, you do it for personal reasons okay I'm not here to judge just here to take notes would just like to take a couple notes about you and your well being yes and so your face seems to be functioning normally which is very good I'm going to I'm going to do a little maintenance work here this won't hurt a bit it will not hurt don't worry don't worry we have uh, previously given you a little bit of pain medication 
slipped it right into your coffee. I had no idea, but your day did seem to be a little better, no? <laughs> That's what I thought. Let's see here. I would like to... Could you squint for me a little bit? Just a little bit. Yes. So your eyes look good. Look at that nose. Oh, do you have any any pain anywhere on your face? Your lips. Oh yes, I see. No, I see a few abrasions there. I can fix. I can fix it. Hold on. Going to go in and do a little bit of work right here. Check that away real quick. There we go. You did not feel anything, did you? Good, 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 good. Excellent. So, how do you feel? How do you feel now? When I apply pressure here, do you feel pain? No, you feel alright. Good. Good. Very good. I'm going to do your forehead now. Very good. Okay, so it seems our doctors have done a good job. Hmm? Yes, uh, we work very hard to make sure that uh, you able to live a comfortable life post, uh, post, uh, professionally, I suppose. Well, since you are not going to remember any of this anyway, you should know that uh, you used to work for our agency. Yes, you were uh, one of our best agents. You should know the nature of your work. I I don't want to get too far into it, but uh, I would, if you know that you were a very talented agent. However, uh, you started uh, showing signs of uh, what uh, they call it, empathy toward our uh, subjects, you could say, our clients, and uh, we could not have that it got in the way of you learning your job, so I had to terminate you, but not in the life or death sense, no, just your employment, and unfortunately it means your memories of all of it as well, including the memories of your closest friends and confidants and other types of relations. I'm not telling you which category we fell into, but you can take a gander. <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm you with all of that. You don't need it right now. You seem very stressed all on your own. And you do not even work for us anymore. I suppose life has its own stressors that don't necessarily come from a, an employment that uh, forces you to look at the connection between life and death every day. But who knows? I don't know what you do. Well, I guess I do, but um, I don't know what you personally do on your time off. So uh, I'd like to tell you the silly thing that I will get in a lot of trouble if I tell you, but I'll tell you anyway. I miss you. I do. You are a good uh, person, a good addition to the agency, and that was not my call. That got you uh, fired. I wish I could figure out what it was, and maybe I should have joined you. But both of our memories are erased, what's the point of that? You understand. You are always good at that. I uh, don't mean to keep you too long, because you are getting 
very sleepy, you know? It's from the medication we gave you. And I uh, apologize for, uh, you know, the whole nature of that, but it's part of the job description. Yes, if I could get out, I probably would. But seeing you here is enough for me. At least uh, you were able to be spared, you know. Now, that being said, uh, I'm here to warn you that you cannot pursue trying to get your memories back. If you do, I will have to terminate you from this planet. I know, I know, it's nasty work and I very much do not want to have to be the one to do that or for that fate to befall you either way. I, I just want to let you know that you should probably drop what it is you're doing or at least be more sneaky about it because this is your final warning, unfortunately. Personally, I do not care what you do, but my uh, place of employment seems to. So, uh, that is all I have to say to you, all the rest was extra. <laughs> I'm going to keep that part of your memory and erase all of the personal bits now. So, that being said, I will leave you to your own device. And I hope for both of our sakes you will make the right choice. <laughs>